guys, it's Janet here to share a fun project with you for our Stampers Dozen blog hop. We are looking at cards that move, projects that move on our blog hop as a theme for the month. So one of the very obvious ways to make your cards move is through using our um, sliding stars framelits. And what this does is it creates tracks so that your items can spin around. And it does have some additional shapes then for you to spin around with them. So as I was looking with these, I knew that I wanted to use this background to make it spin. But unfortunately, I didn't want it to go the whole circle because the star then would come off the edge of the card in different places. And this was too wide here. So I got to thinking, how else can I create a track for making something that spins? And what I realized is that this just creates a set spacing for something to move back and forth. And so I'm able to create that same spacing using our layering circles, layering ovals, and layering squares, giving us some alternatives for how items can move as opposed to just the story framers. Now, these are wonderful and they're great to have, not to talk you out of doing a little bit of shopping, but I wanted to give you an alternative. So let's take two of these pieces right here and let's go ahead and oops I don't have all of my pieces yep well I got this let's see if we can make this work I don't have the magnetic or, or precision I was doing another video teaching something else but this will work so we're gonna lay that down and I'm gonna position these two circles about where oh, I need a little bit bigger one than that Because the idea is to get a track about the same width and size as these tracks here. So you can kind of see that as a guide. So I've got that happening. i got it where I want it to be. I used the big Mary Mary background stamp and embossed it with white on Bermuda Bay. Such a pretty look. And let's just go ahead and die cut that piece real quick. Okay, so we've got some different elements here. We can put that away. We need our centerpiece back, and we'll put this off to the side and get it out of our way. So now what I have is a folded piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I have our background. What I want to do is I want to raise this up, so I'm just going to use some of our foam strips. I have mine cut because I store them in a DVD case. I also have some that are a little bit longer um, left in their original length but these are already cut to a size that I know that I use quite often and because it's not a shaker card you don't need to worry about the gaps okay if you were doing a shaker card obviously you would want to fill in all of those gaps so all of your little goodies couldn't um, couldn't or wouldn't fall out or won't fall out but we're not doing that we are just trying to elevate this up so that our elements can spin. So it's going to put that up on the card. And so then our circle is going to go back in the center. And you'll notice I didn't come up with adhesive around that. You want to be really careful. And the same thing here, you want to put your dimensional right in the center. And now you can either work with washers. And again, you just want to put your adhesive right in the middle. And you're going to put those on and then they'll go around the circle. They have a little bit more weight. So you can see how that's gonna go around the circle. You can also use pennies. You may want your circle a little bit smaller if you're gonna use pennies because they might come off the track. So I've got two washers here and what I did was I just stacked some dimensionals between them. And a little tip, just lightly snip the points and it will roll a little bit better for you. What I've done is I die cut two of the images from our Starry Nights framelits, which are just stunning. Um, this one here I chose to die cut carefully and not punch out any of the elements for it. I wanted to keep it solid. And it's from our Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer paper. And then I have a piece cut out with Bermuda Bay and a large rhinestone in the middle. And right now the iced rhinestones are on the clearance rack. And oh, they're large and stunning and perfect for your holiday um, projects. And so we're going to put a dimensional on here to raise it up from there. Dimensional stick great to that glimmer. We're going to add one more dimensional here. Peeling off our backing. 
with that little piece. I'm going to save that for an ornament or something else. We're going to put that on our washer, and now it's going to rotate around. Oops, it's going to rotate around. So you've got your pretty little one. So you've got two variations here. And again, what I did, this one's a smaller circle, so you can see the options when you work with the circles, is that you can alter the the size of the path that your element would take. And it gives you some versatility with using larger images to spin and things like that. So you have your sliding star framelits as one option for creating your spinner cards. And then you have our entire line of layering framelits. Our layering circles, squares, and ovals will be a great thing to have to create cards that move. And then make sure you have washers, stack of pennies, dimensionals, um, and your foam, foam strips. And I said those backwards, foam strips and dimensionals. So come on back to RemarkablyCreated.com and check out all of the projects that move with our Stampers Dozen blog tour today. Thanks, guys.